So folks, we start the tour here. I've got a bit of a temporary entrance at the moment into the academy because uh, we've got a lot of building going on around us. So my old entrance um, has been uh, terminated. And this is not my academy. This is the space next door to me, um, which is huge. I wish it was my academy, actually. As you can see, these are old offices. There's planning at the moment, I believe, going on for this area to turn it uh, into residential but uh, that might be down in the future so hopefully i don't have to move if i do move there's an area in the basement so it's not a very pretty entrance into the academy uh, but this is the the back entrance in and here we are in the academy so let me talk you through what we've got in here first thing that you'll see in front of you is the the hitting area um, just installed the latest foresight 2020 fx pro software which is amazing the graphic quality is superb it's run off this beast down here i had to upgrade the, the computer because the software needs something quite powerful this is actually a high spec end gaming computer so like all these things when you start changing one thing you've got to upgrade other things so had to upgrade the computer and then we found out that the projector that i was using was rubbish so we had to upgrade the projector to a nice new panasonic uh, which produces hd graphics and gives us these amazing pictures on the screen that you're seeing at the moment 10 courses that come with it and there's lots of add-on courses you can buy if you feel like uh, adding on pebble beach and things like that so thoroughly enjoying that and um, down here on the deck you've got the gc2 hmt unit this unit here is the hmt is sorry this is the hmt this is the gc2 unit which looks at the golf ball two cameras in here and this unit is the hmt which is the head measurement technology so you've got four cameras in there basically doing the same that gc quad does gc quads just all in one unit you can't buy these anymore they've been discontinued they're just selling quads um, but it does a great job it gives me all the data that you're looking for you know you name it you can find out i use quite an old system here for my um, swing analysis software this is um, a program which i bought back in 2010 and it kind of does the job you know i've got a couple of monitors here i video people's golf swings and then obviously bring them up on the monitor so that they can see them uh, these aren't two guys that I've, I've taught as you can probably imagine but uh, yeah do some video analysis on that which i find really helpful um, for my pupils so here we've got the explanar you may have may have not seen this as a teaching system um, which has been around for about 20 odd years now um, really great teaching system, really great for beginners. Um, then we sort of move into the custom fit area. I'm working with four manufacturers at the moment. Uh, I work with Yonex, I work with Mizuno. There's the Mizuno custom fitting wall and all the relevant chefs that we probably can't get at the moment. Um, my number one account for fittings, Ping, and a premium fitting account for Ping. Um, again, struggling for product, but it's starting to get a little bit easier as we move into the season. And then my other brand is Cobra. Uh, that looks a little bit barren at the moment, the Cobra fitting wall, because we are just waiting for all the new product to come in, demo fitting kit for Cobra, which will be here in the next couple of weeks. Um, we've got a Huxley putting green over here, which is brilliant. Lovely surface, you'll have seen me doing videos on here. Um, creates a really nice smooth roll. It runs at about 10 on the stint meter. Get in, just short. Um, pretty much a flat surface. Great for doing putting lessons on and letting people practice the putting on here. Good selection of putters. Majority of these are ping putters. We've got vaults in there. We've got some cobras. We've got some Hepler putters in here. Um, oh look, these are worth showing you. These are a set of my uh, Mizuno TN87 Pros, which I bought in one of the first lockdowns. Beautiful iron, these Tommy Nakajima 87. Um, classic bladed iron. If I got fitted in those, they're fitted with uh, precision 6.50 shafts. Beautiful clubs, those. My collection of golf magazines. Some of these magazines go back a long, long time. Um, 
they go back years some of these things 1980 this one is and it's really interesting going back looking at old articles and magazines you know and see how things have changed or not changed um some grips here and, and here's my sort of collection of clubs which have accumulated over the years lots of wedges in here lots of x demo clubs six irons um i do trade quite a bit on ebay i sell stuff on ebay so a lot of this will go on ebay some old wooden woods here persimmon woods how about that steelhead plus there great big berthas some old mizuno irons nice set of mizuno pro iron originals um all sorts really you know all of these i always track of what i've got set of mp62s um another set of mp62s and mp67s actually those are in chrome little workshop area over here i do regrips i use my regripping machine here to get my grips on really quick and efficient way of putting grips on here i can recycle the grip fluid which is great uh loft and line machine right here we can bend clubs you know forge clubs <clears throat> primarily but there are you know certain cast clubs and other materials that we can move the lies around we can check the lofts and all the rest of it so that's the workshop area my little collection of pictures and some of these are golf sweaters. Why, why on earth have I, did I start collecting golf sweaters? These are old Nick Faldo sweaters from like the eighties. And I was really bored one night on eBay. I thought, you know what? I'll start collecting Pringle golf sweaters. And uh, yeah, that didn't last too long. Collection of pictures, some quite rare ones up here. Great picture up there of Arnold Palmer. Uh, that's the first ever plane of the world match play at Wentworth. I think it was 1964 and um, that was him hitting his second shot into the 13th at Wentworth look at the size of that divot great picture another one of my favorites there is Seve I think that was him winning at Royal Livam and there's the two great men walking off the 18th green at Turnbury the jewel in the sun who could forget <coughs> um, the classic picture of Ben Hogan the iconic picture of Mr. Hogan's one iron shot to the 18th green during the final round of 1950 US Open at Merion. A um, couple of clubs I used to work at. I was very privileged to be an assistant, head assistant years ago at the Berkshire Golf Club. Great courses, red and the blue. From there I went to Ashridge Golf Club, just up the road from where I am. That's a picture of the old clubhouse. So yeah, you know, lots of, lots of memorabilia there. <clears throat> lots of stuff on the wall from the years that I've collected, some magazine articles that I've written over the years. Uh, Jack Nicholas on the bridge, 18th in his final open. Lots of old open memorabilia, some sign caps from various players. We've got loads of old starting sheets from British Opens as well. Uh, some old ping putters down on the deck. Then we move into the shop come office. Um, I do carry a fair amount of stock these days. Um, good selection of bags, gloves, uh, towels, um, I keep a fair amount of hardware in here from Yonex, um, loads of pin caps and then as we move down the line here we've got some woods and wedges, the new pin glide forge wedge there, great wedge, um, some pin G425 product on the shelf, um, I keep a fair selection of clothing from Ping, which is lovely. A um, bit more Ping clothing, lots of bags, some accessories, a dehumidifier. Anyone wants to buy a few dehumidifier. Um, so that's it. So that's my that's my little shop and um, academy and the operation. So hope you've enjoyed a little look around here. I know I shoot the videos from here but uh, always nice to see what's going on a little bit behind the scenes. So, hey, thanks for watching today. Stay tuned. Um, I'll be posting a few more videos as the year goes on, as we get some more equipment coming through and uh, looking forward to keeping in touch with you folks. Um, hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.